Hi, um, my name is Chao Peng. I'm a postdoc researcher in CNDR, working with Virginia Ni and John Chojasti. I won a second place prize for the poster um, about the property of misfolded alpha synuclein from different neuron degenerative diseases uh, in the UDAL Center meeting in 2016. Basically, uh, my research is about a protein named alpha synuclein which is a very critical protein for Parkinson's disease. So uh, this protein has been known to misfold it in all PD patients and uh, has been believed to play a key role in the development of PD. So one interesting thing for this, uh, it's actually an interesting observation for this protein is that it is important for PD, but it is, it is not unique for PD. There's a group of other diseases that also have um, this misfolded protein in the brains of the patient. For example, the um, dementia with Lewy body and also multiple system atrophy, which is an orphan disease. And, uh, in, and also um, half, like 50% of Alzheimer's disease patients also have alps and nuclein accumulation in their brain. So uh, obviously, these different type of disease have very different pathological and clinical behavior compared with PD. But how could the same misfolded protein lead to so many different diseases? Our research is actually um, using multiple different cell and animal models as well as biochemical methods to provide the first insight to illustrate how a single misfolded protein leads to very different clinical behavior in the patient. Actually, what we find is that the same misfolded synuclein can form different structures and conformation in different type of disease. That's why they have so different pathological and clinical behavior. Um, looking forward to the future, we think that a key question is how this different conformation is formed in different patients. What is the driving factor that behind this phenomenon? And also, uh, in terms of clinical treatment, we think our research at that different disease, even though they share the same misfolded protein, they can be very different uh, in terms of the disease mechanism. So we should treat them separately um, with different types of therapy, maybe target different confirmation of the misfolded protein. So uh, I think it's really lucky for me to work in a UDA center because um, of all the resources available. Uh, for our research, we use a lot of uh, human material that is donated by the patient, um, which is very precious and is a key resource for us to get a real understanding of the disease rather than the model system. And uh, also, um, it's really a good pleasure to join the UDOC Central meeting because there's so much communication between the basic research side and the clinical side. So you will be shocked like, um, how much we can learn from each other and how that could facilitate and also provide a direction for the basic research to uh, be more beneficial for the um, for the public.